I'm spending the next 18 hours on this jetty with no food at all. The only rule is I'm not allowed to fish anywhere else but this jetty. I'm currently traveling around Australia with my family. Seven years ago, I used to be a tiler, but I left the trade industry. I'm not a fisherman. I'm just a bloke that doesn't want to pack up on the Sunday and go back to work on the Monday. Welcome back to another episode. I am super pumped today. Do you know why? Because we're on our home for the next 18 hours and we're at Western Australia and we're on the Calgon River right now. Let me tell you why I'm pumped right now, okay? We've got to catch our food, cook it up and try to get as much food as we can to eat. But that's not the only reason why I'm pumped. The reason why I am so pumped is because they catch mulloway off this jetty. They catch brim off this jetty. They catch blue swimmers off this jetty. They catch live bait off this jetty, which is trumpeter, which is what we're going to need to catch the mulloway. Now, if you've watched my other videos, I've caught mulloway that way, right? And the, uh, the, uh, the mouth to the ocean is this way, probably about what, a K, two kilometers, right? So the mulloway have to swim through this to get to down there. So where are they gonna swim past? The jetty. The jetty. All right, let me quickly show you guys what we've got and then we're going to get started. We're going to catch live bait as soon as we can because we've got live baits in the water ASAP, right? The small rod to catch the live baits, right? This is Aria's rod. We've got these two rods to put out for live baits also. And then we have the big... Um, <laughs> I went blank. We have the big surf rod as well to belt to out in the middle of this middle of the channel there. The channel's in the middle, obviously, right? When we catch the live baits, they go straight in here. We've got the hand line. We've got the gas cooker to try cook up some fish when we catch it. And we also have this bad boy. You're probably saying, what do you have a bar and arrow for? You're on a jetty, you can't move. Do you know why? I'll say two days ago when I was on this jetty, thousands and thousands of brim, right? They come up. I don't know if you can see them, but they always come up. You'll see them today, right? They come up here and they hang around. Now, there was one, I reckon he was about 50 centimetres, and he just come up to the surface and he just swam past. First thing that we've got to do today, I've got to stop talking, I'm so excited. We've got to try catch some live baits, let's do that. Because we want to live bait in the water all day. And look, I'm standing on here talking to you, there's no live bait in, boys. We're going to use pilchards. The best bait to use is um, squid, because it stays on longer, because there's so many small fish that take the bait, you know what I mean? Here we go. Oh, they're pilchards, yeah, pillies. Pillies, pillies, pillies. Oof, and it stinks. What we're gonna be using to get the live bait is a small hook, just like that. Two ball sinkers, running sinkers, and I've done pretty well getting them with that, so. First bait's going into the water. Now what I do is I just let that sit there. All right now, there was, a, there was a bloke that came down the other day, he was an old bloke, and he was sitting on this jetty and he had a live bait tank full of trumpet. And I said to him, I said, mate, look how many trumpet are you catching? How do you get them? He said to me, he goes, there'll be a line in the water, right? Oh, already, we're getting hits already. Come on. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> he said to me, he goes, you'll, they'll probably clean me up. That's why you need squid. All the brim hang at the front. And he goes, about a meter behind the brim will be the trumpeter. That's where you gotta cast. Clean me up, boys. Clean me up. See how that just falls apart. These live bait tanks are really cool. Look, just slides into there. That, pull it out. This can go in the water. This I'll leave up here to like, for my hands and stuff. Just like this, look. And then it sits in there like that. See that? Let's tie it up. Now this isn't gonna come off as easy as the pilchards do. This is gonna last way longer now. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm staying at this caravan park and my van is literally, like, there's the car there. So, I rang up Alex and I'm like, oh, go get me some squid. Hey, that's gonna go. Come on, bait. Tyson's got a little trumpet, I was a dead one. Yep, oh, little small, you're trying for mile away already. He's got a small dead trumpet that he's got. Put it on, mate, maybe you'll get one. Not one trumpeter yet for a live bait, boys. We need one. Come on. Oh, come on. Just take it, baby. You'll know when it takes it. Tide's coming in now, which is perfect. There's a tide change, so. Is it? Yeah. Yes, exactly what we want. Run, run, run. Yes! We're going to set up that rod, put this, put him on that like, cut it! I'm pumped, bro. So this here is what they've been catching. Oh! I'm not gonna risk it, boys. Straight in the bucket. Straight in the water, Jimmy. That's what 
we want, boys. That's one step closer to that monster Mulloway up this jetty. You know that, yeah? We've tied up. We're using a 100-pound leader with a big surf rod to start off with. All right. Oh, my God. The Calgon Queen is right behind me, guys. With this one, 5 circle hook. Can't go wrong. We'll catch a big one with this. Big bait, big fish, boys. These trumpeters have spikes on them. We're going to go right behind the tail like we did, like we, how we got it last time. We're doing it. Our first live bait off the jetty today, boys and girls. We're going to catch a monster mulloway with this. Wait and see. Oh, not the best. No good, no good, no good. That's a bit better. Oh, shit. I think he's on something. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's gone crazy. What is it? Oh, he got a trumpeter! Tyson! <laughs> Alright, so Tyson, let me see how you rigged him up. Tyson's put, look at that. Tyson's putting the one he just caught on that rod out straight away. Go on, Tyson. That's two live bait out so far, guys. Good cast. Nice. If that wind wasn't coming this way, we can cast out a bit more. Next live bait's going out. This is the perfect size one. And then, bit of an update. We've got one live bait out, two live bait out, three live bait out, but we've got no more live bait left. So it's time now to start catching some live bait and just fill up the live bait tank and see how we go. I'm starving, man. I'm so hungry. Baby brim. We just, if we get a brim like that, we need it to be about 25 centimeters bigger and we cook her up. I went to bring in that my the big rod to check the live bait, bring the live bait in, it was good, casted it out again and it ripped off. So I'm going to bring this rod up now, throw that in there. We need more live bait, that's the issue, because if we had more live bait, we, can, we don't care, we can lose a couple. It's approaching lunch time, so we're trying to catch a brim to eat. Cold yes! Yes! Alright, we're going to chuck this trumpeter straight on the live bait. How's that for service out here, eh? This is a nice, oh he swallowed it too. So, let's pull it out. If he swallows, just grab the end and just pull. Oh, I don't know if he's going to make it. When they turn like that too, uh, he's not going to make it, boys, but... Oh, well, we'll see. I'll just leave it on there dead, get another one, and we'll change it up. Oh, my God, you're not going to believe this. Don't touch it, Tyson. Show us it, bro. Oh, look at this, guys. Bro! Oh! <laughs> oh no, again, I've got the jinx on that. Hold it there for a sec. Oh, look at the teeth marks, bro. Show us. That was a mulloway. Do you know how we know? The teeth marks. Boom, boom, bro. I had a feeling something went boom on that. And that's why, I swear, I've got to change. We, we got to put the hooks through the through the neck, bro. Through the, right near the mouth. I've had them all. I've got to change it up. We'll put him with our bait collection, bro. Look at that. I'm going to try something different on Tyson's rod. So what we're going to do... Sorry, trumpeter. No. Go catch us a fish. Go catch us. That's better. Look at that. Look at that. Just gentle. Good cast. Surely. It's got a snag, but this happened when we were at the other island. I'm going to let it go slack. <sighs> snag be good. Whatever, the, whatever that was. I've got it off. I reckon it was on a weed or something. Is there weeds? A lot of weeds? I don't know. Checking that was a fish. Oh, you reckon it was a crab? I am big blue man of crab. So you can see the, the straight lines where the crabs. Oh, I thought it was a fish. I reckon that's a crab. Put down the comment section. What do you reckon it was by looking at it? Look at that. What do you reckon that is? Crab or a mulloway? I'm starting to think. I reckon they're crabs, bro. I reckon that bloke's right. Put down the comment section what do you reckon it is. We have no live bait at all. Got the old pink rod back in that holder now. Those two rods are just sitting there waiting. Oh, your hairline! <gasps> jump in! I'll jump in! Jump in! You hold the GoPro. Hold the... Oh my god! That's a big brim. Oh, good one. Oh, what's that line there? Is that mine? Oh, no, no, it's 
What's going on up here? This has just gone tight. Holy shit. I don't know if that was a fish or what. Smashed. I don't know what that is, boys. Put down the comment section. People reckon crabs, but I don't know what they are. All right, all right, all right. Chumpy, what is it? Yes, live bait's gone out, boys. Give you guys a bit of an update. It's two o'clock at the moment. The wind's howling. We've got two live baits ready to go, Trumpeter, in the um, in the live bait tank there. Um, I've got a dead um, Trumpeter and this. I'm just waiting for that wind to calm down and then I'm going to cast out. We'll get them tonight. I've got a good feeling. We just got to stock up on trumpeters, but I'm so hungry. I want to eat something. I need to eat something. Even a brim, man, a 25 centimeter brim will go down the hatch real good. <laughs> It'll happen, boys. We're going to stay positive. That's the key with fishing. We're going to stay positive and motivated. I don't know much about fishing, but all I know is how to have fun. So and that's what we're doing out here. We're having fun. We're on, boys. We're on, we're on. I'm going to tighten up a bit. You reckon it's alright? No, hold that, hold that. Can't put any slack on it, yo. Oh no! Why did you put? Why did you leave it? You don't leave it. You put oh, slack on it. hold that. No, I was tightening it up. Oh, what happened? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that was, man. You don't let go. Oh, I don't know what that. No, I was tightening it up. That was running, man. That was running hard. Oh. All right, let's get another one out. Yeah, but the drag, I have the drag really loose. That's why it would have sounded like it was quick. Tyson reckons it was a stingray. It has been a while since I've heard that rod scream like that, man, and it felt so good, but didn't long last long enough. But did it feel good, boys? It felt good, man. Oh, it's going to be good tonight, bro. Tonight's going to be good. I'm pumped for tonight now. So we've got four trumpeter. At the moment, Tyson caught four in a row. And he caught them on. I'll show you guys what he caught them on. This is crazy. I never knew this. Steak. And it's good too because it stays on the hook. It doesn't come off the hook, I feel like. These boys have been down here for like half an hour, man. They've already outfished us with a friggin' brim. It's a nice size brim anyway. Show us him. What is it? The salmon trout. What is it? Something big, man. He's there, he's there, isn't he? Yeah, he's there. Ah, nice fish. That screamed, bro. Can you see it from there, Tyson? I don't know what this is, man. It's, it's pretty. What'd you get him on? Soft plastic or? Chicken, and cheese. Nice fish, boys. Nice fish. He's on. Mate, this is hectic now. What is it? Oh, it's a mulloway. He got a mulloway, bro. Oh, bro. He's monstrous. Mate, size two. <laughs> size. Right, that is off its head. That's size, mate. You can take it home, eat it. Let him and eat him, man. Look at that, brother. <laughs> That's sick. Chicken bugger, you have a truly beautiful bugger. Yes. What's that? Little scales. What is that? Look how beautiful that is, man. He got one, man. What's the That's size? That's 50 here. 50, yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know how sharp that knife is though. Mate, look at this. We got everyone out here fishing, mate. This is sick. All right, boys, you're gonna trip out to see the setup that he's using that he caught the mulloway on. Thin line, a little runoff, a little runoff hook, and then a little sinker. What size is that hook? I have no idea. How big do you reckon that'd be? Tell him what were you using for the bait? Oh, it was chicken, cheese, and um, garlic. Just, uh, it could be any cheese, like parmesan cheese is what we use because it's really soft and it goes on it really well. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's sick. This is the best time right now, boys and girls. Look at this. Just checked the live bait, we're still on it. That live bait's still there. They're still fishing there as well. There's a guy fishing on that rock over there, if you can see. It's been a big day today, big push. How funny is that, eh? I was fishing on this jetty early morning 
And then you came along and you smashed out a mulloway, man. I must be like the worst the worst fisherman in Australia. Yeah, I, was just I have like, to be. Oh. There's no sinker on this either, so. Did you see that on live TV, man? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a snapper. You got someone's line. Yeah. You're on. Take it easy. Bring it out. Take calm, relax. That's it. Oh my god, here we go. We've been waiting for this. Don't tighten the drag too much, alright? Let him go if he wants to go. Let him go if he wants to go. That's it. How about you? Maybe need to tighten it a bit. Wait, wait. It's a touch. Tight. Oh my god. Tighten the touch more. That's it. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Ah, this is a monster, man. Well, let me run this in. Keep working him, Tyson. Keep working him. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's it, nice and easy. Where is he going? Hey? You might need to help him, don't you? Go on that way. Just take it easy, that's alright. You want to go on there, maybe? Let's just stay here. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. How much line you got left? That's it, let him. Alright. It's a stingray, I can see it. That's a stingray. You reckon? Yeah, right. That's it. I don't know, I don't know, it could be anything. Go go down there if you want. No. It's alright, it's alright. It's alright. It's still there, keep winding. It's alright. That was a big hey. That was a big fish, whatever it was, man. It's alright. Fah, that was sick though. At least the rod ran. <laughs> Who said I lost it? Is it still Who there? Said I lost oh, it. he's still got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Come this way, Tyson. Around. Yeah. Actually, oh, wait a sec. Wait, wait. Go over. Go over. Here we go. Oh, he's taking mine, man. Stop, stop, stop. Don't be careful because we might snap him off. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> Rocco. Okay. I don't reckon it's a ray. Well, we don't know. We don't I reckon know. it's a fish. Jump it up. It's all good. It's all good. Get your hubby out. That's it. Maybe go in there. You're bringing him in slowly, mate. Can you stay here, Tyson, with you? Don't run down the bank. He's telling me he's snagged, but... Might be a stingray if he's sitting he down. Didn't. You feel him? <laughs> hey? <laughs> oh, you got it locked up, man. Well, why is there a snag? Oh, there is a snag out there. Is there? Yeah, I'm sure there is. Go up there, try up there. Go up there. Still there? Still there? Yeah, you you break it. Yeah, don't tighten it too much. Maybe I get in the boat. Yeah, get in the boat, Luke! I reckon he was snagged before then, so he's on the free. He, he'll... Oh, what happened? No, this is the break. Gee. Oh, was, was it show us here? It was overlapped there, that's why. Oh, that's hey, whatever that was, bro, was a big fish because it took that whole live bait. Yeah, thanks, bro. Anyways, that's fishing, man. I told Tyson he's upset. What happened was the braid, I'll show you guys what happened. See, so what happened, it's got tangled up in here, which it's happened to me many a times, but I will never know what that was. Oh, I got a baby mulloway. Thank you. These young kids are cleaning up. Yeah. What is it? That's a nice one. Brim. You gonna eat it tonight or what? That's a mulloway, man. Look at that. Another one. Throw it back out. I missed that on the camera, 
but that rod just screamed again and obviously you've seen the bite marks on that trumpeter man oh this is on he's on this is on this is on this is on no he's there Wait. Is it? No, he's not there. Oh. Oh. He's not there. Yeah. Shall lift it. Mate, it's going off at the moment, man. Well, what are we doing? Whatever it is, all this. The boys just got another one. Oh. It's like three off here. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Hold this light out. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Shit. Come on. Yeah. Leave it, leave it, Luke. Nice. Nah, yeah, we need smaller trumpeters, man. That went again. Get on the rug? Is there any hits or not? Yeah, look at it. It's been mauled. Yeah. Look. See that? Is See? it big enough? Maybe we should move the. Every single time it goes for its head. Just bring that up now on this other rod. Good bite, too. It even took its eyeball out. Oh, they I reckon they're too big. The trumpeter. Yeah. Can you hook it different or no? Go from the back of the neck now. Show me the Because that's what they keep biting. It's that time of the night. We're going to cook up the fish. I'm hanging. I'm hungry. It's late. As of yet, nothing else is happening. First time I'm ever trying out a black brim, so we'll see how it goes. Take the skin off. Where's that other piece of fillet? Oh, that's. Do you want to roast the skin? Spray it inside. First time ever using this, man. And first time ever trying brim. We ha almost had a little bit of an explosion. Show us the light. I don't know about these, man. Go on, you do the honors, Tyson. Whoa! We're cooking, boys! Well, that's way too hot. Let's cook it. No salt, no nothing, man. Look at this. All day <laughs> for one piece of fish. Thank you so much, fish. Thank you. Now it's done. That's actually really good. Why aren't you boys and girls eating brim? How good is that? I'm gonna go walk back to my caravan now and hit the sack. I'll see you on the next one. This is my last video in Albany. No more here. And I forgot to do the rating. I rate that out of 10, 5.6 out of 10. What do you rate it? Uh, probably about 7.5, 8. Yeah. I like that. I didn't, I didn't mind it. It was nice. Alright, uh, boys and girls, love yous. I'm gonna leave yous.